hi today i'll be showing you how to create easy watercolor flowers i've used sakura watercolors uh, they are available on amazon and um, i'll get started now start with the centermost flower it doesn't have to be perfect and i don't start with a pencil outline because i'm used to it now if you are a little anxious, you could probably roughly draw the pencil outline and then begin drawing the watercolor flowers. If it turns out a little too dark, then maybe we can try using a little bit more water and then draw gently. I think the key to get the translucency over the petals is to use a lot of water and a bit of pigment. I'll start with the centermost flower. It doesn't have to necessarily be symmetrical because now if you were to observe the flowers in nature they come in varied shapes and sizes so these are loose watercolor flowers we are not trying to bring out the realistic uh, version of the flowers but just a very colorful vibrant version of flowers Now uh, we'll start the uh, next set of flowers around this major red flower. I'm going to draw a purple one now. So for the center of the flower, it's usually pretty dark. You could use the same shade or you could use a, maybe you could use a little bit of brown along with the purple. And then we want a lot of translucency for the petal this is a this part is quite opaque and for the petals we want a lot of translucency so you use very less pigment and a lot of water and gently pull the brush outwards and let the water do its magic hold the brush very lightly and just Pull the water outside, from the center to outside. Whenever there's a bit of space that you want to cover in, your, in, in any of your watercolor projects, especially florals, um, drawing tiny circles of you know, paint is always a great idea to cover up space. Just like you, you can paint leaves anywhere, these are tiny circles. Again, they don't have to be symmetrical. In fact, it's 
all the more brilliant if you have if they are turn out of different sizes connect them with the color of your choice i'll probably go with navy blue here using the smallest brush again to connect these and it's absolutely fine if the paint gets mixed up if you don't like it then you, you should probably wait for the red paint to dry and then uh, connect the dots <laughs> 